In today's video, we're going to cover adding and subtracting integers. Let's start with a simple example, two plus four. We know the answer here would be six, but if you weren't sure, we can use a number line to get the answer. So let's say we have a number line. Over here, we have two. On a number line, the numbers get larger to the right and smaller to the left. So anytime we're adding a positive number like this four, we're going to move that many steps over to the right. So if we count one, two, three, four, we're going to end up here. Let's see what value that is. This would be three, four, five, and then six. Now what if instead of adding the four, we're adding a negative four to the two? What would happen? If adding a positive four means going to the right by four, then adding a negative four must mean to go to the left by four. It's also worth noting that anytime you have plus a negative number, we can rewrite that as a subtraction problem, two minus four. A trick to help remember that is think of the addition sign as a plus one in front of the negative four. That way, anytime you have a plus negative number, it's like we're multiplying the two, and when you multiply positive and negative numbers, you get a negative result. So that's why we can say it's now two minus four. Using a number line, if two is over here, adding the negative must mean to go to the left. It's the same as subtraction. So we'll have to go one, two, three, four. We're going to end up here. This would be one, zero, negative one, and negative two. So the result would be negative two. What if we start with a negative number? This time we have negative three plus five. We'll use another number line. And we can start with the negative three. We can tell that we're going to move to the right since we're adding a positive five value. So I'm gonna put negative three a little bit to the left over here to allow space. Adding the positive means to go to the right. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. If this is negative three, this number here would be negative two, then negative one, zero, one, and two. This is where we end up. So this would equal positive two. It's also worth mentioning that you are allowed to switch the order of the two numbers as long as you keep their signs with them. In other words, we had a plus five right here. So if we wanted to, we could move the five in front and say this is equivalent to five. And then we have a negative three. So we have to put minus three. And as we know, five minus three gives us the same result of two. Let's try a similar example. Say we have negative four plus seven. Like we saw before, we're allowed to swap the numbers. We have a positive seven. So we could say this is equal to seven. And then the negative four means minus four. We know this would be three. Let's check on the number line that the first one gives us the same answer. Negative four is here. And we're gonna to have to move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this is negative four, going to the right means we're gonna get larger and the negative numbers get smaller. This hash is negative three. This one is negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and finally three. And there's our answer. Now what if we start with a negative number and add another negative number? We'll use a number line for this. If negative two is here, then we need to figure out which direction to move. If we were just adding a positive, just a normal three, we would have gone to the right by three because we're adding a negative and that's equivalent to subtracting. So really it looks like negative two minus three. Then clearly we need to go to the left by three. One, two, three. Our answer will be here. Let's count to make sure we're going to the left so the numbers get smaller and therefore negative numbers get larger. So negative two, then negative three, negative four, and then negative five. There's our answer. Now what happens if we have three numbers to combine? For instance, if we had four plus negative five plus two. In this case, we can combine two of the numbers and then finish with the third. Let's start with the four plus negative five. Here's our number line. We have four. We know four plus a negative is like subtraction. We have to go to the left by five. One, two, three, four, five. And counting down the numbers, this would be three, two, one, zero, and negative one. So far, the four plus negative five gave us a negative one. So we can combine these two here and say this is now negative one, and then the plus two from above. If you want, you can switch the order and say, this is a positive two minus one. And we know that equals just one. 
but we can prove the negative one plus two using the number line. Right now we're still at negative one and we need to add a positive two, which means going to the right by two. And in the end, we get positive one. Let's try some subtraction problems. Say we have five minus eight. We can use the number line again. Five is over here. And since we're subtracting an eight, that means we have to go to the left eight spots. We'll count those off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our answer will be here. So let's count the numbers to see where we are. If this was five, one below is four, then three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, and finally, negative three. So our answer is negative three. Now, like we did before, if you wanted to, you could switch the order of these two numbers. Just remember to keep the signs with the numbers. So since we have a minus eight here, we could rewrite it and say this is equivalent to negative eight, and the five here is positive, so we would say plus five. Using a number line again, we're going to start with the first number listed, which is negative eight. So if negative eight is here, we're adding five, and it's a positive five, so we're going to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Our answer must be here. Let's see what it is. We have negative eight. Next larger number would be negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four, and finally, negative three. So we got the same result. Now let's see what happens when we subtract a negative number. Say we have three minus negative two. Before, when we were adding a negative, we were thinking that we have a positive times negative, which gives us negative and therefore subtraction. This time, minus negative would be like two negatives multiplying, and that gives us a positive number. So in other words, we can rewrite this as three instead of minus negative, two negatives here makes this a positive. It's three plus two. We know this is going to be five. So let's double check with the number line that three minus negative two gets us to the same place. Three is over here. If we were just subtracting a positive two, it would have gone to the left by two. We're subtracting the opposite of that, a negative. Therefore, we have to go two to the right. This is four and five. Let's look at one more example. Say we have negative three minus negative six plus negative one. It looks complicated, but let's break it down. The first thing we see is that we have a negative three minus negative six. So right away, we can switch that to addition. Let's rewrite that. That would be negative three plus six, and then still plus the negative one. From there, we can go ahead and switch the order of the six and negative three. We just have to keep the signs together. We have a positive six, so that would be a six. We have a negative three, so that must be minus three. And on the end, we still have plus negative one. Six minus three is just three. Adding a negative is like subtracting. So we can say it's three minus one, and that would give us two. But let's double check this on the number line. We're starting at negative three minus negative six means to go to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take care of that first. This would be negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. So far we're at three, which lines up right here. And then we still had plus negative one, which would mean to go to the left by one. So if we're at the three, we go left one and we end up at positive two. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.